Welcome, everyone, to House Coat Podcasting. I am Takeshi Yamato, joining our host, the House Coat Gamer. Yo. And 117 Jorn. Hi, yo. This is a little bit of a bonus vector thrust. It, we're not really talking too much about regular aircraft anymore, because, well, this game had quite a few mods and quite a few special aircraft added into the game through those mods. Some of those aircraft come I, those aircraft come from a wide variety of sources. And this is one of them. Ace Combat ADF-01, the Falcon. And the Morgan? It even includes the nuke. The unnerfed nuke. Yeah. I'm still pissed off at AC-7 for nerfing my favorite weapon on this thing. Hey, buddy. Still hmm? alive? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. We have the Morgan, we have the Falcon. This is a AC-3 plane. Coffin-equipped version of the Nighthawk. Right. That's a that's a vector thrust plane. That's somebody Did having too much. F that's somebody Ooh. playing too much Ace Combat Three. I like it. Yeah, it's <laughs> effectively a coffin plane. Connection for flight interface. Right. BR one two one F four one four, and F one zero four. Yes, I think you recognize this thing. I like the second engine. I, I like the second <laughs> nozzle above the thr above the central engine. A rocket engine. Gotta love that sort of thing. Uh, the yeah. only, I'll think, just make it paint it red. I'll go three times faster. <laughs> That's not how it works. It doesn't. It does for works. <sighs> anyway. Yeah. F four. F four Z F. Okay. Yeah, these are all. F yeah, I'm pretty sure all of these are concept and fictional, except for that one. Boeing X-45A. Yeah, that actually appeared in AC-7. Right. In a slightly modified form. Right. E-29. Yeah. Wow. That's right, this. Intruder! Yeah. And the A7. There. Yep. Those are a very, carrier jets. A very recall. capable attack aircraft. And I say attacker because that's literally what it is. It might have yeah. the ability to turn, but it is not a DAW fighter. Right. In fact, quite a few elements of the F five it was of the F eight it was derived from were outright removed. And right. these things were actually used for flight training in the F one seventeen because they fly the exact same goddamn way. Right, fair enough. Alright. Next Oh R Wings. Yeah, oh, yeah, somebody modded these things on. Star oh. Star Fox. That looks like the original one. It or make, yeah, I, either the original or the Star, either the Star Fox sixty four or that's a Star Fox Assault R wing. I have no idea what the hell this thing is. I think that's probably from Star Fox Command. That's probably another one. Everyone had their own customized ships in that one. There's that one. There's a that one. Oh, the Tie Interceptor. The previous one was uh, Falco's. Yeah, that uh, that was used by Falco. Oh. There's, and there's uh, one. What'd you say, Zorn? Uh, I'm uh, trying to do the Tie Fighter sound. God damn it! it, it my mic keeps cutting out. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish the F. Yeah, I kind of wish the X Wing was in here just so I could shoot it down. Yeah, Tie Interceptor. Fuck you. <laughs> and next up, I think was the Wolfen. Well, I, I think the Wolfen was <laughs> in there as well. I can't believe it. They actually modded this thing in and gave it a gun. Yeah, the... Be, a, that is ridiculous. 
yeah, this thing is a big, heavy bomber. It, this thing it was, was literally to... designed to somewhat replace the B-52. In fact, it was outright designed to replace the B-52, but the damn thing just won't die! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, man, you, can't, you can't just com you can't compete with with something that just works. <laughs> yep. There's the stealth bomber, the spirit, and somehow it has a gun. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. <sighs> the blackjack. The bear. Okay, I somewhat... Okay, this one is somewhat plausible. It actually has guns mounted on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The fuck is that? I have no idea. Neither do I. Eh, it's a super heavy version of an A-10. I'm gonna say, I think it's somebody having a little bit of fun with the Brazilian Air Force, judging from the designation. Right. Sky Ray. Uh, Navy aircraft. Yeah. Poor thing. Ooh. Old planes. Volksjager. Yeah. Yeah, this was supposed to be the people's fighter for the... You know, if I mention them, I'm just going to get... You know, if I mention them, it's not going to be a good idea. Let's just say Germany. Yeah. The Luftwaffe. A certain other Luftwaffe. Not the modern I mean, one. I mean, Luftwaffe is still a Luftwaffe. <laughs> it's just the people leading it are different now. Yeah. Uh -huh. The first That's just a flying wing. The first one, in fact. Look at that hoe. Da 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 da. -da. <laughs> <laughs> and it crashed. <laughs> well, oh well. Oh hell no. We're we are uh... not done. <laughs> Cause. I was having a little bit of fun with this. And I would not right. be denied. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, I liked how they had all the different versions of the R-Wing, from uh, Star Fox 64 to Star Fox Assault, and it, all the different craft in Star, Star Fox Command. Horden. Ah, Sweden's first jet fighter. Though it was originally a prop plane first. That outrigger in the back almost makes me think of the cloak-shaped fighter from Star Wars. It might have. Oh. It might have been inspired by this thing. Maybe. Maybe Who knows? that's kind of what they do. They take from that general time frame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rocket plane. Meow. Literally rocket plane. Yeah. Could never stay in the air for long, but when it was in the air, goddamn, it will it'll, it can it can rip things apart if it wanted to. Or blow itself to pieces. That too. <laughs> yeah. Gentlemen, <sighs> salute. Saluting. Saluting. <laughs> The ME 262, the first operational jet fighter. Though that might be debatable with the meteor. Right. But yeah. Yeah, there was a similar one made for Japan, but it was a little bit different. Yeah. Ah, here's the meteor. I thought the meteor's engines kind of looked cartoonishly big. Well, they were cartoonishly big. 
The 262 and the Meteor are not very different in terms of size. Right. Yeah, it's the, 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 the Swabble looks looks uh, looks better, though, in my humble opinion. Comic what? Comic <laughs> That looks like... That looks... That looks like a yellow submarine with wings and... With wings and a tail fin. So, Take so, what do you do when you want to make a guided mi missile, but you don't have the computers? You put a cockpit on the thing. Yep! <laughs> and you load as, as many explosives as you can. Ugh... <laughs> You might be familiar with this one. Um, not entirely. I, I'm I'm not mu I'm not much of an aviation buff. That was a that looks like a Shinden. It is. It looks different from a Shinden I'm familiar with. Well, this is shell sated all to hell. Right. Ah. Not familiar with that one. It's Swedish. Oh. The Viggen. Fun All fact, right. the engine in this thing is actually used in seven six in seven thirty sevens. That's why it's so rotund. Gotcha. <laughs> they took a seven thirty seven jet engine and built a fighter frame around it. And tacked on an afterburner. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about MacGyvering! That's what Saab does. Speaking of Saab, what may be right. their last glorious little plane. Right, the, the Gripen. Yeah, Saab... Saab did pre... Saab was more well known for... They, they were known for, yeah, they were known for their planes, but they were also known for their cars, yeah. Top Gear did a special on them once. And yes, I I did like Top Gear is one of those shows that I like. What the Yes. Just get it out of your system. <laughs> they have super f I someone modded in Super Fortress planes? Specifically the ones from Ace Combat. That one's from AC3. Oh, Don't my. ask. Whoa. Somebody had a little too much fun here. Our lightning? What the? I have no idea. Hmm. Ah, the 40. Ah, the 34. The result of Sukhoi just taking the cockpit off, slapping on a new one, adding a pair of canards, and trying to turn it into a strike bomber. Right. I mean, it works, but it's a bit lazy. Yeah. Hmm. There's the Burkut again. Often Burkut. Yeah, from yeah from three. Bacon. Don't ask. Yes. The VF-25! The VF-27! Please, no. <laughs> X-Planes. Well, this one's... Well, that one's an X-Plane. And the one that was never gonna get off the ground. Huh. That is, an, uh, that is one ugly motherfucker of a plane. Well, ah, the tornado, predecessor to the typhoon. Yeah. You know there were three versions of this thing. Huh. An air defense variant that was longer than the others, to accommodate four sky flash air to air missiles. A shorter ground variant, the IDS, which came first, and a. Electronic Warfare variant that I believe was designed specifically for the Luftwaffe. Hmm, oh, the modern one. Yeah. Megs. 
Ming. Yeah. We're just going Ming. through the whole light. We're Ming. just going through Ming. the whole Ming. library Ming. at this point. Mig, 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 Mig. Everyone loves Mig. Migs. Yeah, the Mig 27. This was uh, Russia's swing wing. One of them. Here's the original. Here's the attacker. Note the difference. Yeah, the 23 and the 27. Yeah. What's the difference? The big difference. Big. Size? The nose. Huh. One right. has radar, yeah. one doesn't. Yeah. Fulcrum, Raj. Yeah. It's a shame that the F. It's a shame the 2000 isn't in here. Right. AC3 has a little bit of fun here. Yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, there's a reason this thing looks like the Concorde. It was based on it, wasn't it? Uh, it's more like all SST, uh, all supersonic transports have to be have to have the same aerodynamic properties. I mean, just Fair look enough. at the first true SST, <coughs> the Tupolev something or other. Jorn, could you look that up for me? Get me the specific number. Specific number for what? The uh, Russian Concorde, for lack of a better term. The Russian Concorde? Yeah. They called it a, the Tupolev something or oh, the, other. The Tupolev TU-144. NATO reporting name, Charger. I well, certainly did that. At Mach 2. <coughs> that said, it wasn't very efficient. That said, the... Uh, the basic plan form has to be used for all supersonic transports. Yeah, speaking of transport aircraft, I, I will admit, I've mostly flown in Boeing craft, maybe a few Airbuses or DCs, but mostly, mostly, se mostly Boeing is seven, mostly the Boeing seven triple digit series. 30, 37s, 57s, 67s, 777 once or twice. I even flew in a jump in a 747 a couple of times. That was one particular trip out to the Hawaiian Islands. Of course, these days I think my fate... I, of course, recently I saw an internal tour of the Airbus A3, a, a video tour of the Airbus A380, and who doggy is that plane? Is that plane fancy? Fancy, but kind of pointless. Yeah, still. That's pretty much every plane that a certain modder added in the game. Yeah, I mean, I remember. Well, I, I, we could yeah. look at other modded aircraft, but I think that's pretty much the end for Vector Thrust. A shame. Yeah. I was actually yeah. looking for. I was actually enjoying this. Yeah, right and up until I know certain events prevented Jorn from joining, joining me in the air and trying to shoot me down. Someday, Ron. Someday. May yeah. Twenty millimeter cannon shells hit you in the ass. Yep. Or hit me in the ass. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. Well. Oh, wow, now that is... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's not exactly the A-12 proper. Hey, what? I think I know why it's crashing now. Oh, goody. It's the mods. The mods are causing it to, to crash? <laughs> Specifically the Geopilio log of the mod. But I have... One that has AC-3 planes. But I have that one. It's, For some... po it's possible it wasn't installed properly. Hmm. We'll experiment oh. with that another day. For now, bye.